All of my documentaries have been about people whose work I grew up admiring. And many of these are uh, leftover adolescent obsessions. When I was in junior high and high school, my, my personal Mount Rushmore were the Marx Brothers, first and foremost, uh, Woody Allen, Lenny Bruce, and Kurt Vonnegut. And in my adult life, these have all been subjects of my documentaries. Um, my first one, I was 22 years old. I did a, uh, a documentary on the Marx Brothers for public television. And uh, I went on to do one on W.C. Fields and uh, Mort Saul. Um, Lenny Bruce, again, was a, an obsession. That took 13 years to make, that film. My, my joke at the time was I didn't know whether to have the film released or bar mitzvahed. Um, and then Woody Allen, I think I approached Woody initially probably soon after the Marx Brothers film, sometime in the earlier mid-80s, trying to get him to authorize. You know, he's a very private mm -hmm. guy, and he's very mm -hmm. shy, and does not think much of his own work. Frankly, doesn't think he's worthy of any kind of documentary tribute or anything like that. So I was so young at the time, I just thought, well, I'll keep going back to this guy every decade or so until he relents. And then finally, I think in 2008, I talked him into it. I mean, I wrote him a very convincing letter saying, it's time for this, and if I don't do it, Someone's going to do a lousy version of it. So he agreed and gave me full access. And I followed him around on the set. And I was in the editing room with him. And I went to Cannes with him and did what wound up being not only a definitive documentary on him, also for public television, but um, it was a two-part. It was three and a half hours. Because this guy's career has gone on for so long. He's done so much. It's sort of hard to keep it down to a conventional length. So that was a two-parter. And now I've broken my own record for uh, the gestation period of a given documentary because also soon after my Marx Brothers documentary in 82, I wrote a letter to my favorite author, Kurt Vonnegut, asking him for authorization for a documentary, which he gave me back in 82. I started filming with him in 1988, and this is primarily out of my own pocket, and continued filming with him on and off until shortly before his death in 2007. And I've been sitting on all this footage for a long time trying to figure out how to put this thing together because the financing was never really there. I'd gone as far as I could go out of my own pocket. So as we speak, I'm uh, two days past finishing a Kickstarter campaign for the film where I successfully raised the financing to continue with the film. So that's going to be my big project this year, my long-awaited uh, documentary called Kurt Vonnegut Unstuck in Time. Things aren't going well for him. He's a guy who really likes continuity in his life. He's not a big fan of change. Uh, and he's an accountant, so he works with numbers. He likes...